Tonight, the Romanians and Bulgarians are coming in the new year. You've seen the headlines and heard the rhetoric. London is already experiencing a Romanian crime wave. I first reported from Romania 20 years ago, and I want to find the truth behind the headlines. Do you know anybody amongst your friends who'd want to move to the UK next year? No, I have no. Some British companies are keen to persuade more Romanians to come. The demand for them all over Europe is, is, is huge. But we also find a village emptied of loose-skilled workers. So where have they gone? Very good in Krikot. We have exclusive access with British police on a mission from North London to Transylvania. Some people uh, uh, have stigmatised various communities and said that they're coming to the UK bent on criminality. Back home, a British town which fears it faces more pressure on its schools and hospitals. Is it particularly <laughs> Romanians that worry? Honestly speaking, yes. And the government tells Panorama it's making landmark changes. We'll actually be able to stop them coming back if they're coming back here to carry on rough sleeping or begging. Images like these have angered the nation. But with just days to go until Romania and Bulgaria get full working rights in the UK, should we really be worried? Woods in North London. We're with the police looking for a camp of homeless Romanians. Officers from a special Romanian unit are also with us, working alongside the Met. Overnight, the weather's been bad, and the police think this camp has been abandoned. You can see they've really tried to make it home. They've got bags in here, hanging up. They've got mirrors, old mattresses, but really there's, a, there's an overwhelming smell of urine and feces. Right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for getting up at uh, four o'clock in the morning. Welcome Earlier, we'd had a briefing. The Romanian police arrived in the autumn as part of an intelligence-sharing process with their British counterparts. What's the problem? Since 2012, we've had large groups of Romanians who have been sleeping rough, engaging in work on the black market and some anti-social behaviour. The camp's quiet. But then, we find two Romanians, a young couple, in a freezing tent. Can I just ask you, how long have you been here? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. The camp's been reported to the police by the landowner. If they don't raid it, they think it'll fill up again, fast. More rough sleepers, more antisocial behaviour. It's not really fair on the Romanians to be living like this, so... We're going to take them to uh, Ashford Place, which is a homeless organisation, to see if we can get cleaned up, a bit of food, and uh, see if we can offer them some help. These two already have the right to be in the UK. Romania and Bulgaria joined Europe seven years ago. But until now, to work here, you needed to have specialist skills, like doctors and nurses, or be self-employed, or be a seasonal agricultural worker. But from January the 1st, everyone will be allowed to join the jobs market. Do you really think that living in these conditions that you're in at the moment, that's preferable to being in Romania? But average salaries in Romania are about three times lower than in the UK, and in Bulgaria, around four times lower. <laughs> what kind of work did you think you, you might find? Construction. Do you have friends who've come here and got work? No. The police won't take it any further. They tell the couple how to get into the system legally next year and give them a deadline to leave the woods. <laughs> But there's another side to Romanians here in the UK. This is a reception at the embassy in London. It's full of lawyers, architects and students. 
Many of us are here to work, to find real jobs. Those who do work, they pay taxes to this government, just as any other, you know, English workers. The number of Romanian students at UK universities has increased by nearly 30% since 2010. But many of them sense they're treated with suspicion. What do you think is the perception of Romanians in the UK? Um, it's not a great one, to be honest. Um, but through our individuality and our views, we could tell them and show them the greatness of our country. The first thing I say when I, I, I meet a new person, I, I just say, OK, this is my background, this is where I come from. You, you know, say proudly, I'm Romanian. Yeah, I'm Romanian, so you know, I, I know people that because of this sort of, sort of negative approach to Romanians lately, they don't want to say that. The negative attitudes have been fueled by images such as these. Romanian rumor around Marble Arch this summer. Police moved them on many times. Some have even been flown home, but returned. Then there was this, a camp at Hendon Football Club. It was evicted by police in the summer. As a result, crime in the area dropped. Still, of all arrests for begging in London last year, Romanians accounted for 49%. For pickpocketing, it was 34%. Figures like that have helped shape our opinions. A recent poll suggested 82% of people thought restrictions on the numbers of Romanians and Bulgarians allowed to settle in the UK should continue next year. It's all helped boost the popularity at the UK Independence Party. Let's be frank here. Uh, crime will come if these people come in numbers, and I think that's something that the British people and British society as a whole just don't need. Is that something you do think that's specific to Romanians? Um, I'm not sure it's specific to Romanians, but I think there is a definite link between, uh, be between Romania and crime, and that's born out of these uh, statistics. I don't like to draw the distinction of anything as, as such as Romanian crime. Crime is crime and we will enforce against all of it. What drives crime is not just poverty, it's disparity. And Romania is clearly a poor country in comparison to the United Kingdom. And the temptations are, are available to all migrants from poorer backgrounds from anywhere in the world are greater when they come to what is perceived to be a richer country. Transylvania in northern Romania. This is a country I know well, both professionally and personally. It's where I first met my wife, now a barrister in the UK, and I've been coming here for two decades. There are some prosperous towns up here, but there's also poverty, and no group is poorer than the Roma. They're a different ethnicity from Romanians. They came from India 700 years ago and settled across many East European countries. I'm joining British police here as part of a wider intelligence and information sharing process. This is the village of Apatza. It might look like any other traditional, tranquil community in the Carpathian Mountains, but it's not. Apatza has a secret, and the British police have come all this way to try and unlock it. Chief Superintendent Adrian Usher's patch in London has a high number of Romanians, many of them Roma. And it's the Roma many Romanians blame for their poor image abroad. Remember the Hendon Stadium. Out of the 68 people evicted, 65 came from a Patsa. Is this your home? He wants to find out why. How many people live here? Shop. Seven. Seven? Is there, is, there any, is there any water or...? Uh, a bit supper. No. No, well, my no. And what do you use for toilet and for washing? Toilet in the field. OK. The Roma have been persecuted through the centuries. This mission's a delicate one. Once he's discovered why so many from here came to the UK, He'll advise them they shouldn't return unless they can support themselves. 
What I'm saying is that we know that if you come to the UK without a name job to go to, then you're at a really increased risk of being exploited or being the victim or perpetrator of crime. You're stepping into a really controversial arena here, aren't you? I mean, the whole issue of immigration and what's going to happen to Romania in particular in the new year. Well, I'm, I'm not here to comment on any political issues at all. We're here to protect all the residents of London, and that includes those people who come to London looking for work. Next is the home of a man who used to live in the Hendon Stadium camp. He knows the secret of why so many from Apatza headed to the same place. I fost nu că n-am lucrat numai în Londra, că am fost pe multe țări. And who was the first person to leave here? Was it you? Well, no. <laughs> My cousin. Well. Your cousin was the first, yeah? And he went and then he phoned you. Și m-a sunat pe mine, da. Yeah? Do you know how many people from here went to London, do you know? Yeah, maybe 400. <laughs> maybe 400. People like Alexandru travel to the UK for work on the strength of one phone call. They're prepared to endure a grim camp in London so they can provide enough money for a family home like this. Thank you very much for letting me see your home. And you. Okay. Cheers. Maybe you have for the next year. <laughs> he plans to live in the chief superintendent's own patch back in London. Very good to click out. If you want to get an idea of the depth of the connection between here and the UK, one of these little girls just ran over and said, very good in Cricklewood. Uh, Cricklewood, yeah. Ah, Cricklewood, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You know Cricklewood? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> And it's Cricklewood, where hundreds of Romanians, many of them Roma, are part of a growing underclass. This is what residents wake up to each morning, gangs of Romanians waiting for work on the black market. Among them is Alex, who looks for cash-in-hand labouring jobs. He speaks no English and has no qualifications. Even so, he plans to try and enter the formal job market in January. Back home, he has a partner and three children, deciding whether to come too. I'm a gypsy and I'm proud of it. I don't think that it is an insult because I don't steal and I don't commit crimes. I would bring my family here and I don't think it would be too difficult to look after them. I would rent two rooms and a kitchen if everything was convenient. So how many others have come since Romania and Bulgaria joined the EU in 2007? Official figures say there are currently just over 100,000 Romanians and 57,000 Bulgarians, but those are just estimates. The truth is we simply don't know. We don't count them in and we don't count them out. No, we don't. And when um, I spoke to you this time last year, we, we raised the same point 10 months ago, and you said that's going to change soon. Uh, yes, and we're putting in place exit controls. How many Romanians and Bulgarians does the government think are going to come here next year? If you look at the organisations that have made estimates, they vary hugely. So some have made estimates at the low end, some have made very large estimates. Frankly, the range of those estimates, I think, demonstrates that it isn't really a very sensible thing to do. Politicians have got their guesstimates badly wrong before. In 2004, 10 new countries joined Europe. The Poles, with their close ties to the UK, were expected to come, but the Labour government underestimated the number by at least five times. That's given UKIP a stick with which to beat the other parties this time round. The number of people who have come has been completely underestimated. If you look at Migration Watch UK, they're saying it's going to be 50,000 a year. That's what they estimate over the next five years. Uh, what we know, or what we expect, is that large numbers of people will come. His figures are from a think tank concerned about uncontrolled immigration. In 2004, it was about countries joining the EU, 